There's quite a few different organizations that run mass wrangler programs, but the one here in Manitoba has got to be the most famed. It's been around for over 50 years, and every year there's more than 10,000 entries submitted. The way it works is we've got 30 qualifying game fish that swim in Manitoba waters, and there is a minimum size length for each one. If you catch a fish that meets that criteria, you can apply for an award by submitting your catch details to the program. Part of stewarding this flagship program involves continuously updating the rules. And new for this year, all submissions must include a measurement photo of your catch, which has heightened the legitimacy of the program greatly. Also written into the rules is that all photos included in submissions must depict healthy, releasable fish. That means no vertical holds, no blood, no frozen fins, no frozen eyes. The idea is to keep growing the sustainability of the program and encourage releasing trophy fish whenever possible. These new rules place big responsibility on the anglers wishing to participate in the program to be prepared and proficient with their fish handling. I'm in Pine Falls today. It's late season. I got some snow on the ground and an empty boat ramp here all to myself. This is one of the best spots in the world to catch 100 walleyes in a day while having a chance at one or several master angler sized fish which is 28 inches and up for a walleye. I'm headed downstream from the town of Pine Falls on the Winnipeg River to where it flows into Lake Winnipeg at Traverse Bay. And just to clarify, to qualify for the award, the fish must be caught by angling with hook and line and it obviously must be caught in Manitoba because it's a Manitoba program. Bite, 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 bite. 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 Now we're talking. Big, 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 big. Get in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the one. Yeah! we got here a great fish wow okay so first things first is to keep that fish happy healthy in the water we're just using a jig and a minnow big big fish like a big big fish look at the body on that thing so i'm gonna get a picture right here first touch on the tape i'm gonna use one hand just to secure the fish I'm gonna put her back in the water for a drink. Then I'm gonna switch my camera over to self timer mode. If you're organized, you can do it on your own. So I'm going to, okay, 12 seconds, folks. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, straight back in the water. You know, we talk about revival on big fish and really you just want to hold them still, let them swim away. Whew. So awesome to see a strong release like that. If you've got current, face them into the current. You don't want to drag them backwards against the current. Having a big net like this is super awesome for keeping the fish in the water. Another thing you can do is you can use your on boat live well, or if you're ice fishing, you can use an ice live well drilled into the ice, or whether it's ice fishing or open water, you can use a big tote like this, dunk it in the lake, put the fish in there, and it just acts as an intermediary for the briefest amount of time possible, way better than having the fish bouncing around the bottom of the boat or freezing on the ice. A bump board like this makes it so much easier to get a measurement picture because you don't have to line up either of the ends. The jaw sits right against the zero and then the tail goes out to whatever length it is. So important to keep the camera warm. I just keep it on a lanyard here. I drop it down inside my hoodie pocket. Then you know that it is always gonna have charged batteries and for getting that angle set up with the self timer, it's something to practice in advance. You don't wanna wait until there's a live fish in the scenario to make sure that you have your scene set. Even today, 
before I did all this, I took pictures of the measuring tape to make sure I'd easily be able to get it all in with the fish. I took pictures off of this seat to make sure I had a good feel for my angle. These are the things you need to do in advance to be prepared. Right now, I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to submit an entry for a Master Angler on the Master Angler app. So this is an app you can get for your tablet, for your cell phone, and it just makes it very convenient to enter your Master Angler awards on the go. You can also just use the website, go new catch. This is how simple this is. The date's already in there, add a photo. It's gonna pull up the option of going to our photo gallery. And there's my measurement photo now filled in. And then I'm gonna click to add the other photo right there. Now you can see both those photos are in there. Add the length and it was released. Species, walleye and location, Traverse Bay and save. You can see very simple process. You can also do this on the website, as I said, and we've got the option of online record book, which is a database of all fish ever entered in Manitoba. So you can search specific lakes and locations and help plan trips. We've also got a fish identifier here. So you can look through and see the different eligible species. And then last but not least, we've got regulations and it's got everything listed here in case you need any clarification on the rules. So it's kind of a really tight app. It's got everything you need to submit an award along with a bunch of other extra resources. The Master Angler program is just an awesome achievement award system to complement the amazing multi-species fishery we have here in Manitoba. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats.